If you're gonna run for office, you're gonna have to learn how to raise money and how to ask for money. Most people would rather eat Lent sprinkled with lemon juice than ask for money. But good candidates are gonna spend 35 to 50% of their time raising money. So it's time for you to get real or go home. If you're not gonna ask for money because you feel that you've got the best grassroots plan out there and you don't need to raise money, odds are you're gonna lose. So you have to figure out if you're gonna raise money. If you are, we're gonna talk about how you can be successful. If you're not, save yourself and your family the time and the stress and simply don't run for office. Now, if you're running for office, and learning how to ask for money, one of the best things that you're gonna to learn to do that you have to do as a candidate is believe in yourself. Now, I don't mean for that to sound cheesy, but if you don't believe in yourself and are passionate about why you're running and the issues that you're running on, it's gonna be very hard for you to convince others to believe in you as well. The donors to believe in you, the voters to believe in you. You have to believe in yourself and why you're running if you're going to have the ability and the passion to be able to make the ask of people and say, will you give money to my campaign? Now. As you're thinking about how you're going to raise money, one of the things I tell candidates is, many times you do not have because you do not ask. What do I mean by that? I mean that many people that are typically political donors have given in the past. They're used to giving. They're used to candidates coming to them, asking for money, and then writing checks to these candidates. The hardest thing for a first-time candidate to do is actually make the ask, is get over these inhibitions of asking people for money. Don't limit yourself. Just know it's how the game is played. They're used to getting asked. You have to get over that hurdle and be able to make the ask. Now, one of the most effective ways to raise money is one-on-one. -on -one. Why do I say that? Well, if you're gonna do in-person phone calls, all you're really paying for is the phone bill. If you're going to do one-on-one -on -one meetings, you're only gonna have to drive 15, 20 minutes down the road, and here's the deal. All you're really paying for is that gas. If you're doing one-on-one -on -one meetings, the cost is minimal and the payoff can be very significant. So the ratio is huge, 99% uh, net. So you wanna think about how you can have as many one-on-one -on -one meetings and phone calls to raise money. There are gonna be other ways to raise money that you probably wanna do as well, direct mail, uh, events, but the most effective way is one-on-one. -on -one. Now, before you go and meet with a donor, you wanna research the ask. What do I mean by that? You wanna know who you're meeting with then go look them up online. If they're, they're, you're running for federal office, go look at fec.gov or Open Secrets and find out how much these people have given in the past to candidates. Figure out what their average size gift is. If you're running state and local, go to the Secretary of State's website, figure out how much they've given in the past. Research the ask, figure out what their average size gift is, and then when you go to the meeting, have that figure in mind. Here's the other thing that you have to be aware of. Ask for too much rather than too little. If the average size gift is 500, ask for 750. Don't ask for 250. You always wanna ask for too much rather than too little, because guess what? If they say, no, I can't give you 750, but I can give you 500, you're gonna walk out a winner. Now, when you're making the ask, you wanna say, will you invest in my campaign? Will you contribute to my candidacy? Make the ask. Will you please give $500? Once you have made the specific dollar amount ask, be quiet. Don't say anything until they respond. And the reason I say that is, if you then say, well, it was great meeting with you, if you wanna consider it or think about it, you weaken your ask. Sit there, be quiet, let them respond first. Now, raising money in many ways is like caviar. It's an acquired taste. And the reason I say that is, it's hard at the, at the front, it gets easier over time. I've seen many first-time candidates who have gone out and raised money, they've been successful, they've gotten elected, it's been a grind to raise money. Couple, couple election cycles down the road, they've raised twice as much as when they ran the first time and a couple more election cycles, they end up raising three times as much money as they did the very first time they ran. So I wanna encourage you, you've gotta get over the hurdle of making the ask, you've gotta get one-on-one -on -one meetings, you have to make the ask. The more successful you become with that, the more success you're gonna have with your campaign because you're gonna raise more money. So get over the ask, get over the, the, your inhibitions of making the ask, make the ask, it will lead to success, and odds are as you raise more money, you're gonna better your chances of actually winning your campaign.